Gaming, welcome back guys, part 13 of Biomutant. Let's get right into the video. Have you ever seen so much green? Ring up those rungs. That seems to be enough guppos to provide the octopod with infinite ammunition. He's surprised the Merc Puff's been able to hold its breath all this time. It's just another proof of the evolutionary change caused by Toxanol's contamination. Gamuga. Being underserf has meant the Merc Puff has been left alone to munch on the root down there undisturbed. My? This means the Northwest Root has suffered more damage than the others. The marks the corporation left behind on the land are everywhere, but they also abandoned technology, of which he's sure you only found a fraction.
That was the last of them. You've sealed the fate of the tribe and the tree. It's time for the end game. You have your destiny. Follow it all the way back to out of date. He never told anyone about what's next, but he's sure it involves you. Just continue to stay true to yourself and respect others whatever happens. You've become their pride, the guiding light of the tribe. It's time to return to the tree one last time. Out of date says the signs of the end of the world are everywhere. It seems nature is preparing to take revenge. The day of reckoning is coming, and you are invited. He can feel you're approaching the end date. If you haven't decided whom of all like-minded, light-hearted beings you've met have earned a seat on the Ark yet, it's time to do that now. Then grasp your last chance to make sure Lupa Lupin stopped for good. The tree settled its score, but it left yours half done. He says you need to see Lupa Lupin eye to eye one last time. He's happy to help. Come, Reaper. Says you should take it easy. The day is always brighter. The Sifu is seeking revenge too. He hasn't forgotten what Lupa Lupin did, but he also wants to stop him from attacking his tribe. That the world seems to survive doesn't mean he must. He hopes you agree, even if it goes against your light-hearted nature. There's no room for predators in the world the Myriad tribe is building. But he knows this is your fight. You should handle it. Lupa Lupin's own fear was his shackles, not the roots of the tree. It just changed him.
chose to stand back and let the tribe handle it. about to change in your favor. Save the seat by making yourself a target. You're up. spread when the world crumbles. This is not a prophecy, me telling you about the future. It's you shaping it. Here's a vulgar display of power. comes.
remember who the real enemy is and stop playing the game this way. This is how it ends. The Predator and the world itself suffering. But at least it's a sign they're both still alive. So, what we have here is a clear matter of life and death. And only you can make a difference. That was unexpected, but welcomed. The big bad predator left for dead. I wouldn't have wanted to miss this for the world. I think the thing we're really missing here is someone with a heart and soul. The only thing we've got left are those who've lost their minds. Heart and soul, life and death are one thread. The same line viewed from different sides. It's just that my side is so much better. <laughs> well, anyone in their right mind can see you're lost. But you're right about the thread. Unfortunately, it's been very dark and has run throughout. Taken friends, parents, and now... Yet another life. We all make choices, but in the end, our choices make us. There's no peace without forgiveness. It's no better time than now to accept a helping hand. Do you wonder what turn life might have taken if you'd done things different? A left when you went right? A yes when you said no? You've walked the thin line between survival and disaster and haven't lost your balance yet. It's because of you the Tree of Life and the world has been given a second chance. 
You carried the light in a world full of dark and made a difference in a place that needed change. You allied with the Myriad tribe and acted on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. However, light and dark does simply represent the polarities of life. One can't exist without the other. This isn't the end. Just being surrounded by nature as it heals itself will rejuvenate us. Nature will teach us how to survive. So, trust your conscience to show you the way and everything else will follow. He knows things that you need to know. Didn't have much. But you're not alone. You filled the Ark, and those that shared your perspective and gained your trust will accompany you on your journey. Is there a world out there that's better suited for those imbalanced in their light nature than this one? Whether or not, we'll leave your story on record, so those who come after will know you followed your light nature and saved the world. So, when all is said and done, it turned out to be an unusual ending after all. What could be better than ending the story the right way? Ending it your way. A beginning of something new. You guys, welcome to the end of Biomutant. That was a pretty intense ending. I honestly kind of was, I was really leaning towards the light side the entire game. And then I got to the end and we were just fighting like crazy. And then I was like, you know what? I want you dead. You killed my mom. I want you dead. So I decided to uh, have the Lupa Loop and rest in peace. Um, I'm not sure if you guys were watching throughout this whole series. It's not the ending you were expecting because I was choosing the light options the entire time. But that is what I decided to do. And it was pretty good. That was my dog yawning if you couldn't hear it. But it was a pretty good ending. I'm uh, pretty satisfied with how it ended. I'm pretty satisfied with all my choices. Thank you guys so much for watching this entire series. Uh, stay posted for the next one. I think the next one I will be playing Days Gone and I think I will be doing a commentary on that one. Uh, for Biomutant, I just wanted to start off this channel with no commentary to see how it goes, but um, I kind of really want to talk during these things. There's a lot of times where I was playing the game and I just kind of really wanted to express some of my opinions, some of my thoughts uh, while I was actually going through um, some of the story of this game. But I didn't really want to do that because I didn't want to bore you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for watching this series. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and I won't see you guys in another Biomutant. I will see you guys in a completely different game next time. Thanks, guys.